Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another freaking Transformer review because I love some freaking Transformers. Today, we'll be taking a look at the Reactivate video game Soundwave and Optimus Prime. Beautiful box. Love it. Hey, got the plastic windows back. Awesome. Ah, there you go. Reactivate. And the side. Sorry. Don't have enough room. On the back, there you go. 37 steps, 15 steps. Got uh, pictures of the game. I really, I don't think it's going to be able to come out next year. I think they uh, stalled it or something. Or they had some, I don't know, they have some issues. Maybe I'm not, I don't know if I'm right or wrong. But I don't know if it's going to be out by next year. I would like for it to be because I really want to play a new Transformer game. Um, but it looks like it might be 2025. But we'll see. But there you go. Uh, got the all that stuff. Optimus Prime on the side. All right, let's get to what they come with. All right, first things first is always instructions. Pretty good as always, Hasbro. Big pictures, easy to follow, nice. Optimus Prime's up first. Do you get his uh, blaster? It is just black plastic. So, got a little skull park in there. Put a little side up there. And he comes with his axe with that one scene. It's a nice translucent uh, kind of a orangish yellow kind of going on. You got some also some black paint. Very nicely done. I like it. And this is painted too as well. Got some spikes. I like it. Soundwave, you get his um, his shoulder cannon kind of thing. It will uh, be able to use uh, blast effects. I think Prime can use it as well. It does have a hinge right here. And that's pretty cool. He can hold it too, but he goes over his shoulder. And he gets his blaster. And nice silver paint right there. And just a little, little pew pew gun. So there you go. That's what they come with. All right, here they are together in their alt modes. And here is Soundwave. And here is Optimus Prime. Let's talk about Soundwave first. I love the alt mode. It, the off-road kind of thing going on looks pretty cool. You got a little like a dish, like a you know, like a you know, radar dish. It goes up and down. Very nice, got a nice hinge. You can float it right there and fold it back if you want to. Love the little, you know, it's got a little tape deck thing going on. Love the Decepticon symbol. Go paint, red paint looks good. You got blue paint for the rims. That is nice. You got a little red up there. The windows are nicely tinted. I like that it's got the little cage right there, you know, protective cage, but that's pretty cool. Um, on the back, could use some, you know, red for the tail lights, but you do got some skull park in there, like a little robot face. Uh, you can't see the feet, eh, you know, it's not, you know, the ideal thing, but it's not terrible. And then you got underneath, if you want to see that kind of thing, really nice. It does roll just fine. This is smooth surface, but it does roll just fine. Um, you can put the weapons if you want. Lift this up right here. You can put this right here. Or you can have it up there too. There's a hole up there. And you put it in there, giggity. And then you can put this right here. And you can switch it out whatever you want to. And like I said, it does have a hinge, so you can do that. And it can go side to side, however you want to. Pretty cool. All right, moving on to Optimus Prime. Once again, love, love the alt mode. It's a new, uh, you know, it, you know, it's Optimus Prime. You know, you can tell, uh, but it's a new, you know, uh, alt mode, and I like that. Looks good. Uh, does have some battle, you know, damage. You know, kind of like some dry brushing in there. I wish it had more throughout because um, it just kind of looks plain Jane just up in the front, but you know, it, it's not terrible. I like it. So you got some nice silver paint up here. You got the nice clear. I wish that would have been, uh, you know, some tinted windows, just like the sound wave black. Uh, you can see the matrix in there. He does come with the matrix. I'll show you that later. You got the little fog lights. Uh, you got the silver paint right here throughout the silver, uh, the nice Autobot symbol, then the silver for the smokestacks. Then you got mainly gray. Now this right here, um, there is some paint, there's silver paint on here, but it's gray plastic. All this is gray plastic and blue plastic. You got a little paint right there. Uh, silver for the rims. I like that. You got these holes right here. And I, I like that the alt mode is not the, you know, uh, traditional, you know, Optimus Prime with the feet sticking out. Here's his feet, but, you know, they're changed up a little bit. So I like that. I love, love this alt mode. I love both their alt modes. They look really good. You got some like little thruster things right there. Looks good. Got this right here. And underneath, rolls just fine. You can put the weapons if you want to. Kind of looks goofy on Prime, but you have the option. You can, you know, and options are always good. You can put them on either side, and you take this, and you do that. And, yeah, so you can do that if you want to. So, pretty cool. So, there you go. That is Optimus Prime and Soundwave in their alt mode. And like I said, I really like them. They look good. 
And here's Wheelie, Magic Square Prowl. You got the Prime Mode from New Age. You got Red Alerts, and you got Dustbuster Jazz. Uh, Prime is a Voyager, I want to say, then uh, Soundwave is a Deluxe. I want to say that. It doesn't say on the box, but that's what I'm going with. But I may be wrong, but there you go. You got some scale. All right, we'll take a quick look at Soundwave in his bot mode. And, eh, you know, he didn't miss leg day. He's got a big upper chest, you know, uh, you know, broad shoulders, you know, and everything. Um, and he didn't miss leg day. I mean, he missed leg day because they are some skinny legs. But here he is. I like the uh, head sculpt. Looks good. I love the chest with the gold and that, you know, bluish purple is right there. Uh, kind of got the sound wave, you know, the tape deck thing going on. I like it. Love the silver paint, red paint. So you can look down a little bit, not much. You look up quite a bit. Now, this will come on tag quite a bit, um, but you, if you want to get some dynamic poses, you can look up quite a bit right there. So that's good. Side to side and a little attitude on a ball peg. Uh, you got some red paint, black. Right here, you can put the uh, you know shoulder cannon. I'll put that in a little bit. Uh, you got some red paint, silver paint right here. You can go out to about right there, all the way around. Um, you got a, about a little more than 90 degrees for the elbow bend. You do have some waffles. Imagine that. Uh, you do got a uh, uh, bicep swivel, and you do got a little butterfly. It's on a ball peg, so you got a little wiggle waggle there, so you can get a little bit of that. And you have a swivel of the hand, and it's open fist, and that is it. All right, got some silver paint right here, red paint right there. Looks good with that black plastic. Kind of a matte, fish, matte finish with this, with the black. Looks really good. Uh, you do have a waist swivel. No ab crunch. They could have given him an ab crunch, but it is on a little mushroom peg right there. So, all right, Van Dam. Let's see. Can you Van Dam all day? 
just about almost and give it to him a little bit i uh, love how the uh you know he, this goes with you so the hips he does have a nice high kick you got nothing in the back because of the shape of it you do got a thigh swivel so that's very nice you do got some one more war waffles i'm sure third party is going to fix that up real quick nice double or uh, not a double but a knee bend get more than 90 degrees i like that you got some silver paint uh you got a uh, no toe tilt up or down with that, but you do have a little rocker, and that's good. So I like that, but no toe tilt up or down. Like I said, he does have a nice uh, backpack for you. Uh, you can move this down however you want to. And I like how the tires fill in the gap right there. That's pretty cool. I like that. You got these little side flat panels. They're not bad. It'd be pretty cool if they were on the outside instead. All right. And like I said, you can he can hold this if you want to, but it's mainly used for a shoulder cannon. And you stick that in there and it can go up and down and side to side. That's good. And he has his weapon if I can find it. There you go. And there you go. And here is Optimus Prime. And I like, I really like him. This uh, this is my favorite out of the set. But got kind of like, you know, uh, you know, uh, animated kind of uh, anime kind of head sculpt maybe. Or, you know, or, you know, stylized. But very nice silver. Uh, it's got some blue eyes. Got some pretty blue eyes that are kind of covered with the you know head crest. You got silver on the head crest, but you do have a down look up a little bit. You can untab it a little bit and get some more dynamic, you know, a little dynamic. So I like that. Side to side all the way around and a little attitude is on the ball peg. Love this. Like I said, you do have the matrix and you can open it up right here. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Can I get this open? There we go. Well, okay. There we go. Finally. Golly. Okay. Do you got the matrix? It will come out. It's got silver paint, orange, and a little crystal or a little, you know, thing in there. Pretty cool. Got some sculpt work in there as well. So that's cool. Like I said, I kind of wish the uh, w windows would have been tinted so you can't really see it, but you know, silver paint, silver paint. All right. Silver, tons of silver paint right there for that. You've already seen all that. Um, this wool back here will come untag quite a bit. It's kind of annoying. Um, it's supposed to tab in there and sometimes it's just going to come on tab. Yeah. Wish it would not do that all the time. Uh, you got out to there all the way around. You do got a 90 degree elbow bend, uh, bicep swivel. You do got some waffles there. I'm sure they'll fix that swivel of the hand. All right. And you got a waist swivel. Now these will start getting away. As you can hear it, it already just, you know, smack that out back there, but you can untab it and get you uh, better, but like I said, I just wish that tabbed in a little better. All right, so Van Dam all day, every day. Kick up, very nice. I like how that goes with it. Kick back, about right there. You do have a thigh swivel. Nice knee bend once again, just like sound waves. Uh, no toe tilt up or down either, but he does have a rocker. All right, and he does have a little backpack, not as big as uh, sound waves. And uh, he didn't miss leg day. That's good. He didn't miss our arm day either as well. He's got a broad shoulders and everything. But I really do like this. All right. So we'll take the weapons. Now, I've had an issue the, 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 where the handle is. It's really short. They should have made it longer because it, I don't know. It kind of, you know, it stays in there, but it's a little loosey-goosey. So I kind of wish they would have made that stock a little bigger. I mean, you can do it like this. Well, I mean, not really. You can't really at all. So can't do that. And if you want to use the um, axe, you can use it like this, but it's going to be on that side. So you might want to turn, let's turn the handle or the hand and you can put it like this or you can put it like this, like that, you know, however you want to. So, and you can, I think it'd be, it'd go better over here. So you can just twist the hand. You can do this or do that, however you want to. Have fun. And there are two posts back here, so you can carry the weapons if you want to. So you have an option to come back there. All right. So that is Optimus Prime. And let me bring Soundwave around. And you can tell there's a big height difference. Look at that. Golly, Soundwave's really short. A lot shorter. I think he should be a little taller. Probably should come up to at least his um, shoulders. But yeah, there you go. That is Optimus Prime and Soundwave. Oh, before we move on, so I was I did not have that tab in that well. I snapped it in a little better and it stays in there. So I was wrong about that. Sorry. Uh, you just have to put some force in it 
and uh, just line it up right, uh, right, and you can get that tab. Also, you have a backwards butterfly because uh, of transformations. I didn't point that out during the articulation, but you do have a backwards butterfly. That's cool. But yeah, just uh, line that up and kind of, you have to give it some force, a little push in there, and it will tab in a lot better and doesn't come out. So sorry about that. But yeah, just want to make that mistake or uh, correction. And there is C, Joshman's Prime, and we got uh, Side Swipe, you got Iron Hot over there, you got Brawn, you got Core Class Wheelie, and you got Tiss McGee Ratgar for some scale. And Carpet Gun is crappy tool paper, AAA battery, Carmex, Kevers, Kicker, and Squeaks. More scale. Well, hey there, everybody. If you made it this far, I appreciate that. I really do. Today, uh, to go, uh, you know, final thoughts on the Reactivate video game. Uh, this is Soundwave and Optimus Prime. Overall, like it. Love the set. Like Optimus Prime a little better, but I still love Soundway. First thing first, love their alt mods. I love the off-road kind of thing that Soundway has, and I love the new truck that uh, Optimus Prime is, man. It's really nice. Uh, transformation, uh, really, uh, you know, nice engineering for Optimus Prime. You know, Soundway is a little easy, but it's not too, too, you know, it's not, you know, too, you know, not too easy, but, you know, it's fun. You know, both transformations are fun, but yeah, wicked transformation for Optimus Prime. Biggest gripe is this gun really doesn't stay in that well. The stock should have been a little longer because uh, it just, you know, it basically just <laughs> falls out, you know, if you, you know, if you have to sling it around a little bit. But other than that, I like the axe looks good. Uh, paint is really good on both of these. You know, uh, he's got a lot of silver paint and everything. Um, biggest thing I grab about uh, Soundwave is, he did, you know, he missed leg day. He's got big upper chest and everything, um, but the legs kind of look funny. And he's really short, too, as well. I thought he's a lot shorter than I thought he would be. Um, I think he needs to be at least to maybe proms underneath at least to his, uh, you know, shoulder pads, you know, so that would have been pretty cool. But um, other than that, um, you know, articulation is really good for both of them. Standard, you know, what they, you know, what the, you know, Warf Shodron stuff is doing. So uh, good on that. Uh, materials feel good. You know, I didn't think I was going to break anything, you know, except for that. Um, but um, I thought the biggest grip was going to be the backpack for Optimus Prime, but I finally figured out you hit to line it up and had to give a little pressure and uh, it'll go in just fine. But yeah, really like this set. Really looking forward to uh, the Bumblebee and Starscream. Definitely want to get that. Um, really excited for that. Um, and that's about it. So, yeah, I like it. It's a good set. I think it's worth it. And like I said, I like the new uh, take on Optimus Prime and Soundwave. I think they look, you know, really good and they're fun to play around with and, you know, mess around with. And, um, you know, pretty cool. I uh, definitely recommend these. So, yeah, hit me up some like, share, first and care bears. Hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. And uh, hit me up some comments. Tell me you thought of the review. And I guess I'll see you in the next Transformer review. And as always, be good to yourself. Man, hell freaking Transformers and hell freaking reactivate Transformer game. Like I said, I hope it comes out, you know, sometime next year. But it, it may be uh, 2025. We'll see. I, I'm really excited for the game because I like some Transformer games. More Cybertron games awesome. You know what a good game was? Uh, Armada. Armada was a great game. I love that game. All right. Good night, folks. Yeah.